All right, bet you didn't think there was gonna be a part three, but <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on my me being a novice to this. So anyway, anyway, um, last we left off, I was putting the concealer over, um, and again, uh, this was sitting because I needed to go get my beauty blender uh, moistened and ready to go. So now we're not going to blend this in yet. We are going to go right on top of this layer of concealer with the foundation that we're going to use. So um, today I am going to use my Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Flawless. Um, and I am a shade 155. Um, if you go on to Il, I believe it's ilmaquillage.com, um, and you are able to, you know, find what shade works for you. They say two squirts is all it takes. We will continually be testing that theory because, you know, um, I'm a little bit extra. Uh, but any of the excess that comes out, I just kind of like dab on my face. And now here we go. Just taking the base of my sponge and working this. all over my face. And I'm not applying like a whole ton of pressure. I'm just making sure that I am dabbing it gently into my skin and as you can kind of see all of my little sins are starting to disappear and you're starting to see the formation of the base of my face and like I said um, we are not just going to be wearing masks we are blending blending out blending down um, this is my winter shade and, you know, um, as you can see, it's kind of off from the rest of me, but you know, I, um, for some of us who aren't going to be, you know, replacing a whole bunch of foundations for this time of year, this time of year and spend, 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 you can still mitigate this. The first thing you want to do is get that. A base layer of coverage and then go back in there you can contour you can add more like see for me just as I was saying before how you know they're saying the one layer does it or the pardon me the two pumps does it for me um, I like a fuller coverage so I will typically go back in and just hit it again with a little bit of um, product you know, I want a full coverage look. So we'll just go one more layer down and really just kind of pat that in. Okay. And then next step after this, um, I will show you again, we'll start to kind of bring together the shading that we're trying to create. Cause you know, um, especially being African-American, having to create shades is not something new. This ain't new. If you're out there and your skin is darker than, you know, level beige of any cosmetic company you know what we have to do when they hand us our maybe two three shades what we have to do to really make it work is what it is okay all right so um now i want to get out the palette that we're going to use to create that contour um I think you're gonna be shocked to know that again, I'm using NYX. 
Um, but this is the Conceal Correct Contour um, in their deepest, which again, like I said, this, you know, it's deep, it works, but you know, there are my fellow sisters out there who need a little something different. Do what works for you, okay? Um, I know that, matter of fact, actually, you know what? Skip this. Let's do some Juvia. Um, totally new direction. Juvia has these stick foundations that actually um, may be better suited for what we're trying to do. Um, now, I've seen a couple cool ways to kind of apply a contour. I've seen people, you know, like directly apply the stick where they want it and then kind of blend it out. I've seen people um, apply the color elsewhere diffuse it and then layer it onto the skin. Um, do what works for you. I am going to just apply it right on just because that's what I feel like doing right now. Um, I've got a couple shades. Um, the Mozambique, I believe, is the one that was like closest to my actual uh, skin tone. There is Zambia, um, which is what I use for my contour. You can see that it's deeper than my skin. And then I had two that I was using for the highlight portion. There's Granada, which is not as light. And then Panama, which is the lightest. And that would be like straight up like under eye kind of conceal or like bridge of the nose, etc. But anyway, let's get started. Um, actually, I'm going to start with Mozambique and just go over some of those, again, those patches that were really giving me a problem. You know, I, um, I like a flawless face and I want a flawless face. And, um, you know, the ill maquillage is great when I'm having a great skin day. Um, and again, in my, that is my winter shade. So, um, you know, if I, go back on i'll probably try and see if i can find a shade that closer matches my summer shade but in the interim i definitely want to focus on my fresh full face and so again i'm using the juvia's place foundation stick and as you can see you see what I'm saying? It just, um, it's what I came here for. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um, uh, the thing to know about Juvia's face sticks, a little bit goes a long way. Don't try and get in here like, oh, I'm gonna just wipe, 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 switch, 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 switch. Um, they don't play around when it comes to their formulas. When I say a little bit goes a long way, I mean a little bit goes a long way. Also, you are seeing me put this product over my mouth. Um, ain't no rhyme or reason. There is an excess. I do have pretty pinky, pinky lips. And when I go to do my lip colors, I do like to have some of that product on there because um, it kind of neutralizes that palette. So kind of like how we used that cream um, concealer over the eyes to really put that punch of color in there. The same kind of applies to the lips. If you're going to be doing like a nude lippy, which I am going to do today, which I got some new products I'm excited to show you, yay! Um, you want a nice solid uh, foundation for that. Okay, moving right along, we are going to do Zambia. Um, and for the contour, I don't know about y'all, everybody does it a little bit different. Um, they always say you want to focus on like creating the number three on your face because you want to kind of carve out this area of your face, carve out your cheek, and then um, kind of carve out this area that, that would create that nice smooth uh, jawline. I don't necessarily apply it like, oh, I'm gonna just draw three on my face. Snatched. Um, I'm gonna show you what I do, okay? So the first one I start with is underneath the cheekbone area here. And I just apply a line just about to the midway right there. Call it a day, okay? 
Um, next, I get, again, that jawline that we're trying to create. Just like that. Okay. Um, and I create kind of a line in between those two areas. Nothing too heavy because, you know, I'm not really trying to change any much there. But I also do a cute little V to snatch my chin a little bit. Said what I said. Okay. Um, now, coming up here, um, the way I like to do it, I create like little marks kind of in the center here to bring that down. But when it comes to these two areas here, I do one line here and one line in. So it just kind of narrows that focus again. So one line here, one line a little closer. And then again, um, same thing, hit those little lines going down. And then a couple just above that, okay? So we create some depth. Um, we can contour the nose right now while we're in here. Um, there is a tip that I saw from Nikki Tutorials about um, once you have your face kind of done and you're working towards your, like your bronzer and your blush and stuff, there is a way to do that as well. Uh, but just for those of you who want to see it done underneath that, you know, that final like touches there, we can do this here as well. Um, so this, you do not want to shade the middle of your nose. You want to make sure that it follows that natural kind of outline down. And it's a little bit tougher because the stick is a little bit thick, but I am just trying to create that straight line and then a little pop just above the tip and just about there, okay? So next, um, for the under eye portion, um, I also saw this tip uh, where you are not supposed to just kind of like sweep it right across you, what you wanna do. Let me take this as Panama. Um, you want to start about here and create that first area and then do one swipe on the outside because by the time you blend this in, um, that is what's going to create that clean sweep, but you don't want to do more than that. And I typically don't put this um, on this area or in this area until all of it's blended out. Uh, because, um, you know, just for the cleanup purposes, I don't want to have too much going on here. But anyway, um, I am going to take my Mario Badescu and just spritz my beauty blender and just blend this sucker out. So let's start with the lightest part first, just because, um, you know, with that dark of a brown, I don't want to include that in what I'm doing under my eye. I wanna make sure this is all really clean. Okay. And as you can see, boom, that under eye is snatched. Um, look, look, you know, how much it just kind of covers that. It just softly covers what we have going on here. So same thing on this side gentle taps with the beauty blender get that going okay and we're good to go now we can just work on this part here and i'm being a little bit more firm with this um just because i don't want that line sitting on there and I'm just going over each area I've contoured in the step that I've contoured it in or in the order I've contoured it in okay 
and you can see it's already starting to create some shape on the face, which is what we want, you know? I mean, I used to, <laughs> before I started really getting into doing my makeup, I was just like, oh yeah, you put your foundation on and you roll out the door. You create a blank canvas and call it a day. But, um, you know, just like our bodies, our faces come in all different shapes and varieties. And, you know, um, having that contour really, gives you that kind of laser focus on what's what's the beauty going on with your face you know where are these lines at let's see what your shape is what is really giving you that um framework and that structure for the beautiful face that you have and before you start you are beautiful i don't care what you look like i don't care what your what your skin tone is what your weight is what your eye color is what your hair color is whether you have hair or not you don't have any brows? That's cool. You're cute. Your brows are as thick and all the way straight across the front. Listen, you're a baddie. It does not matter. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And the second that you start embracing it, others are going to start embracing that too. And if they don't, hate on haters. Okay. That's not what we're trying to foster here. We are fostering the love and the appreciation that you should have for yourself because you are beautiful inside and out. Okay. Don't let nobody tell you different. Thanks. Thanks. All right. So we're looking pretty good. I am just, I am pleased as punch. I am absolutely pleased as punch, even though I got to finish off my nose. I'm really, really proud of the way that this is kind of coming together. I want to blend some of this down because, like I said, you don't want to have that little masky poo on. Um, okay, let's get on to the nose here. Um, I do not blend across. I just blend one side at a time. Because, like I said, we don't want to um, kind of mess up the structure that we have here. Oh, I've really done a little number on my face. So I'm going to, once again, because it doesn't want to play nice, I'm going to take that um, Granada and hit that spot one more time. And if this doesn't catch its life, I got something for you. Um, and I will show you that on maybe one of these marks down here, kind of what I do to make this a part of the look. Because we all have, you know, our own flaws, visible, invisible, whatever, um, things that people see, things that we can see or things that we can feel. Um, so if my tip helps you in any way, excellent. I'm happy to do it. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, we are moving right along. I think we're doing pretty good here. Um, I will try to think if I want to go ahead and pop that under there or not. I think we're good. Um, I am going to take my, I have another spongy poo. Um, I'm going to moisten the girl up real quick. Um, with just a quick spritz because I don't want it like super moist and I am going to apply that same setting powder the air spun whoops, excuse me um, In the areas that we want to bake so the under eye here um, Get a little bit going down the center here and then through this area on my face um, while that is going on we can um, Focus a little bit on the lippy and then go from there. Okay. So I am just putting my foundation sticks away. I believe we are done with the beauty blender for now. So I'm going to put her away. And same. Mario Badescu. Going to just... Spritz the girl real quick. Nothing fancy, nothing too heavy. Get a little bit more of my air spun. And get 
Okay. Easy peasy. Just pick up some on the sponge. Pat that across. Um, for this area down the side of my face, I will turn this sponge sideways. So we're not creating like a huge mess. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to just take the tip. And go down that center line on my nose. Okay. All right. So that's that. Now let's put some moisture back on our mouths. Um, let me get some of that powder off of my sponge. Cool. Okay. Let me put my powder away. Just about done, y'all. Now for the balm to set the bottom of my look, I'm going to use the Too Faced Peach Lip Balm. Tasty. Super yummy. Looks just like any other balm. And then I'll apply that because my lips are feeling a little dry. Mm. Okay, so now for the lippy, let me tell you, I have racked up some like super favorites over the last couple um, months and one of which is the um, Juvia's Place new lippies. Um, I have their lipstick here in 2020 and their lip gloss in kiss me um let me tell you this bad boy by itself oh it's dreamy it is so dreamy but for today's look because i've done some purple i want to bring in um a purple lip pencil and i'm not sure who this is by it says nk but as you can see, it's uh, purpley. And then I'm gonna top with the 2020 and then hit it with the gloss, okay? So first things first, I clearly need to sharpen my pencil. And I think, when did I do? Oh, here it is, here's my sharpener, okay. So we'll give this girl a sharpen and then um, line the lips. Now I do not do the overdraw on the lip. Um, my lip is full enough for me. Shout out to the girls who do. Um, you look great and what you're able to create is extraordinary. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead. Just do a little bitty outline. Okay. And I do pull some of that in because I want to add um, some depth to the color. But nothing fancy here. Just do the best you can. Okay, and I'll apply a little more down from the corner across the lip and the same at the top and you'll see it creates kind of a framework for an ombre lip. Super cute. Okay, on to 2020. From Juvia's place and I'm just applying that as best I can in the areas that don't have that lip pencil 
And like I said, you can kind of see where it's creating like an ombre look. I, just for reveal purposes, I'm going to save the gloss until last. Let's just finish off getting the powder off of our face and kind of moving towards the finished look. Okay. So brushing that away. Any nice, thick, fluffy brush will do. Okay. And it kind of gives us that dimension on our face. Now, I don't know about you, but I do like to kind of go back in and hit it with a little bit more of the bronze to kind of solidify what we've done. So. Um, like I promised, I'm going to show you that tip that I picked up from Nikki Tutorials. Um, but first, let's just get the um, outer framework done. So this one is by Lovecraft Beauty. They have a contour palette, which is cool. Um, I use each one at different like stages, really. So the darkest shade, um, the Adi Aditya, I use in the hollows and I just kind of tap that on and then I take the outer part of my brush and just kind of fluff that because a little bit goes a long way and I'm always out here doing too much <laughs> um, but it's okay because I tend to use darker blushes so that all is going to blend once we're all said and done see um and then i take that mid shade which is suniva and that's what i hit all those other edges that i did you know it does not have to be perfect get all those other edges and just especially underneath blend down because that's what's going to stop us from you know looking like we've got that mask on is just getting that blended down okay all right, nothing fancy, nothing too hard. Just really just crafting that shape that we want. And of course, getting our little chinny poo together. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and now for the fun part, the one that goes across the nose. Now this is what Nikki Tutorials did sh that I saw in one of her videos, um, is that you take your bronzer and you dust it across, completely across the nose, okay? Then, once that's covered, then you take your lighter shade, and for this, again, airspun to the rescue, I am just taking a smaller brush, eyeshadow doesn't matter, and hitting those two points. So down the center, yeesh. Down the center and on that tip. That follows the framework of what we did earlier. And as you can see, it brings that together okay all right all right all right all right we're almost there i promise i promise so next thing is blush and i think because we do have a little bit of purple going on i may just pull this um, urban decay uh bittersweet there she is, woo. <laughs> and any blush brush will do, you do what's best for you. I've got a couple that I like. Um, this one is by Chic. And just kind of pat at the apple and brush halfway up. Pat at the apple, brush halfway up. And now, um, I usually like to 
clean that brush with that color changer so that way I can blend without having too much excess product on there. Okay. And just blend her down. Um, this is the pot I'm talking about, I'm referring to here. So for each side, I will apply it, cleanse, blend it down. I don't know if you can hear that, but I, <laughs> I do um, stroke counts of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, she's coming together, y'all. <laughs> Super exciting. Okay, so next, um, we are going to um, do our highlight. Uh, pardon me, before we do the highlight. Um, I want to pop on the lashes because when we do the highlight here and at the nose, I also like to put a little bit in the corner and that liner, the lash has to be on in order for us to kind of get that rolling, at least for me anyway. If it don't work for you, it don't work for you, do you? Just like we said. Okay, keep going. Here we go. So let me show you again. This is by Kiss. This is their lash glue liner. Um, and you want to be careful with this because you're supposed to have your lash ready to pop on because it dries really, really fast. Um, now I have some lashes I bought from Amazon. There are five different styles. It's a 50 pack, you know, nothing, literally nothing fancy. Um, but it's just nice. It's nice because I love my lashes. I like having like different looks with lashes. And so as you can see, it's a couple different sets. Um, they're not like super de duper high quality, but you know what? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and these are really good, especially for girls who like to do that everyday lash, but you're not trying to like spend a whole lot of money um, these were, I think like $12.99 or something like that. It's false eyelashes. Um, Elias, whoever you are. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to go in just because we're trying to be fancy today. I'm going to use these, um, wispies or kind of like a crosshatch pattern to create like a really fun, full, funky look. So let me put the rest of my lashes away and we'll get started. Actually, let me put a few things away. Um, mm, mm. I'm keeping my couple of my brushes out because again, when we go back in for this under eye, we want to be ready to rock. Matter of fact, let's do that now. Let's do that now. Let me move these out of the way. Okay, so for anybody who's been keeping up with me from the first video, thank you. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate um, your time and, you know, giving me this energy and opportunity to show you what I've got going on here. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. So, um, diving back in, this is our Trendy in Tokyo by BH Cosmetics. Um, I don't want to go too hefty here. I am going to pull back in my emoji and a little bit of Kyoto, a very tiny, tiny bit of Kyoto. So let me get my pan corrector. Boom. And this emoji is this cute hot pink color here. Always tap off the excess. And I'm just gonna kinda sweep this underneath. We want that nice, sweet sweep of pink, nothing. 
to hardcore. Okay. This gives a little bit of balance to the eye. Okay. And then Kyoto is, boom, that dark purple in the corner there. That. I'm going to sweep right in the center. Why? Because I want to. <laughs> For anybody who knows me personally, you just know, like, oh, that's Kim. That's Kim. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Nothing too crazy, nothing too extra. And let me, before I go crazy, because I'm just, I'm having way too much fun with y'all. Um, I actually need to put on my mascara. Um, I am, for mascara, I'm going to use... Let's use Thrive, Thrive Cosmetics. Love them. Um, you know, obviously they are makeup on a mission, but what I will say is my favorite thing about this um, mascara is that um, when you go to wash your face and remove your makeup, this mascara melts. You're not spending like 72 hours like, oh my God, when is this going to come off of my face? Don't have to. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Um, it melts. It literally melts. Um, it doesn't get like, you know, kind of clumpy or just kind of hang on your lashes. Um, now, I will say this is not the one when Bay takes you swimming to a water park, um, this is not the one you want to use. Um, if you need that recommendation, let me know. I got you. But this one is your everyday, like, look at that. You couldn't even see my lower lash line before I dropped that on there. This is amazing. Love, 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 love. Um, on the top, because I do want a little bit of lift, I'm going to bring in another one of my favorites. This is by... Um, Ico, and it's called Lash Alert. <sighs> I wasn't ready when I first tried it. It's it's so unassuming, um, but you could see how it has that kind of curve to the brush, and that is with reason. Let me show you what this does. Okay. So if I wanted to stop there, you know, I'd, I'd feel comfortable grabbing a liner and going. But like I said, we are here for a look. So we're going to be using our lashes today. All right. Done and done, ooh. All right, so now let's get our lashes at the ready because we need to be ready to move the second that this liner hits my eye. Okay, got my lashes off the strip. I'm gonna put the rest of these away. And we're just going to do a quick line of the eye. This one I'm actually going to do off camera in my mirror um, because I need to. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. I am super stoked about this. Um, 
Super duper stoked. Okay, see, light line. Grab the lash. Um, apply at the center and then bring the corners down. Now, once I apply it, because I'm always a wild woman, um, I like to pinch those edges so I know that now they are as close to my lash line as they could be. And that we are ready to go. This one I don't think is quite a win. Um, I have it attached here and I will show you in a second. Um, you see that? But this is with like literally no glue involved whatsoever. I may just, let me just see. I'm gonna check the underside here. You know, I may just go in with the liner on top of this and call it a day, but look at the difference. And I have used no glue. Usually I'm like struggling. I've got glue on my fingers. I can't do this. It's going, ah. Mm -mm, sis, no, no. All right, next line, be right back. Um, this for me, cause I know a lot of times you'll hear people say, oh, use this method or use this product. This is great for beginners, this, uh-uh. I'm like, I must be a beginner for like the first, you know, few years of doing lashes and all that because I was never, really successful with any one method just would not come together for me. I'm telling you, if you are a beginner's beginner, if you are heavy handed, if the glue constantly gets stuck to your fingers and now you got lashes on your hands instead of on your face, girl, try this eyeliner. You don't even really have to be good at your eyeliner. Boom, boom. I mean, like, literally, if this was me trying to do strip lashes, this video would be, like, uh, an hour longer. We'd have a freaking part four to this bad boy. Um, anyway, ta-da! We have lashes, y'all. Yay! All right, so now, um, just for the sake of time, we're going to move forward. Um, I'm going to apply the Tartiste. Um, it's a dual liner, so on one side you get the coal pencil, boom. On the other side you get a liquid liner. So, um, I am going to just kind of go over my line so it's nice and thick and bold and pretty. Um, and I don't usually do a whole lot on the outer corner just because that's not my bag. But um, again, getting all of that cleaned up, you're good to go. Okay. So again, just kind of taking this. Um, I'm a little bit off mirror, be or off in my mirror rather, because um, you know I'm getting there. I'm a work in progress. Okay. So this leaves quite a bit to be desired, but. No worries, I got something for you. So um, I'm going to, you can see where it's kind of uneven there. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and clean those up and then we will be rocking to our next point. For this, I'm gonna take an easy winky teensy little brush, super tiny, um, just to kind of give it that soft stroke to clean up and this I just kind of dab um, into this is my NYX pot concealer or pardon me NYX pan concealer it's their um, they have a six pan uh, trio and then I'm just gonna take this and sweep it up okay just to get underneath that 
line to get her to do what we need to do. Okay, give it a nice sharp edge because we are not perfect and we don't have to be. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to clean up this other side and then we're going to move on with our highlight and our gloss and then we're going to be all set to say goodbye. Okay. All right, so I've got that eye down. Um, let's get to highlights. So um, I don't know about you. Um, I have like millions of these little fan brushes. I've got all kinds of different highlight. Sometimes I still just straight up use eyeshadow. You know why? Um, because of the way that it stays concentrated. Um, so on the parts that I want like a more concentrated highlight on, I use this. If I want to just kind of gently dust it for that nice light glow, I use this. Okay. Um, so for the highlight today, we're going to use a couple. Um, for the cheeks, I want to use my... Where are you, girl? Uh, 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 uh. For the cheeks, I want to use my Dose of Colors. Um, this is the Supreme Glow Highlighter in Melonade. I don't know if you could see that, but it's kind of like a pinky gold. And I just dust the brush and then dust my face. And I don't know if you could see that kind of picking up there, but so it's not super ostentatious. Um, it just creates a nice, really sweet highlight there. And there are other places you can highlight on your face. I'm just going to highlight where I typically do, which are my cheeks here. Get a little bit more product and hit this side. Okay. Boom, boom, pal. And then now that I have that, I'm gonna highlight my little nose and a little bit of the bridge. And again, like I said, we're gonna get that inner pocket. So um, for the nose, I'm gonna take that shadow brush and hit this here in the center and just at the tip. Ooh. And then in the inner corner, I'm gonna use something a little bit brighter than both. Um, I have, not that one. Not that one either. I'm going to use the um, Juvia's Place, the Heroin Glow um, in volume one and just take that same fluffy shadow kind of hit the corner there 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 Okay, maybe a little there. Okay, and then last but not least, like I promised, we're gonna use the Kiss Me gloss. And just tap that on. And blend it out. little tap and blend okay all right so now I did promise one last thing and I just remembered I apologize um, I was going to show those of you who have 
a little bit of issues with like, let's say you've got a blemish that's just not softening under, and as you can see, I have a couple here. What I do, I take an eyeliner brush um, and gently dab. until we now have a beauty mark. Now it's a little bit hard to see, obviously, because I have the lights for my camera, but if you see these in person, um, it's not necessarily to fool you, it's just to kind of shift your gaze, but we are all set, we're ready to spritz. We're going to use the MAC Fix It Gold or Fix Fix Plus Gold and just because I love a good spritz. Okay. Whew. Give this kind of a fan. And honey. We are all set. Look at that. She is cute, y'all. We're back. Okay. So, like I said, you know, this is, I am, I'm, I, I won't say that I'm nobody special. I am special to me and to the people in my life, but, you know, I'm not your everyday, you know, fancy guru. I don't do this all the time. This is when I pencil in that time for myself to give myself this kind of makeup therapy, but I am pleased. I am pleased. And if you want to continue to join me, I will continue showing up and penciling in this time, just you and me, and we'll get a little look together. All right. What do you think? Let me know. And, um, you know, if you have any special requests, if you want to see something different, see something new, I'm sorry, I'm seeing a rogue lash there you go back to your assigned seats um let me know sign off sign off in the comments um if you want to see more of course like subscribe all of that all the best to you have a great week bye